What did you think about it? And I'm looking at Dan Levitar, and I'm still disgusted. Still disgusted, even though Dan Levitar is my friend. And I love him. But I'm still disgusted about how he came at me with that question on his damn show. You and I, I hate what you and Skip Bayless have done to sports. Like his ass has been doing accounting. Did you have Holly questionable? Was our daddy on the show with us? That was you. You. By the way, I love Mr. Levitard. Papa De Levitard. No shade on him either. Please don't take this that way. That's not what I mean by that. I'm talking about your comfort. You was on the show just looking at your father's saying hi and giving them a hug and a kiss. You were debating. That's what you were doing. It amazes me how somebody like a Dan Levitar will sit up there and lament the state of affairs in an industry you are participating in. You sitting on the air. I don't know how long ago it was with Jamel Hill talking about how, you know what? You know, you, you, you know, it is. It, it's a great, great thing you left. Really? Okay. Probably is. Because I know you're gifted at what you do. And you're a great person. You know I love you. But I'm getting on Dan Levitard about this a little bit. Why is ESPN always a topic of discussion like this? And why are folks coming off like we're losing? Subscribers have diminished. We're in 72 million homes now, not the 90 plus million or even 100 million that we were years ago. Do you have any idea how dominant ESPN in the sports landscape? We're number one. No one's close. No one's close. Subscribers have dipped because we have a younger generation with the advent of social media and the digital stratosphere, and they found different options other than linear television to watch a product. It's very simple. Dan Lebertard is one of the most brilliant people you will ever meet. He knows this. What you bitching for? Well, um, to be honest, I love it. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm not into like people bashing each other, things of that nature, but I'm, I'm, I love it because it shows that we are human. Everybody on TV is so clean cut. Nobody, everybody acts like they don't curse, like they don't get upset. So I love it, but I don't understand it. I don't, I understand from Dan Lebertal's point of view. Like, yo, man, we're like, what's, what, what is everybody getting fired for? I don't understand what Stephen A. Smith is so mad for. He's upset like he owns ESPN. Do we? What's going on over there? I mean, you know, I work. If somebody say something about the post office, I'm going to go berserk. Yo, yeah. No. Wait. Like, so for me, I, I understand what Dan Lebertar is saying because I have a problem. And Stephen A. Smith, if I ever get to meet you, I'm pretty sure you won't answer this. But I would ask you. I'm not, I'm not forgetting nobody fired. I think everybody deserves a job. Everybody deserves to make a living. But why is Windhorse and Kendrick Perkins still employed, but you fire Jeff Van Gundy and Jalen Rose? Those are the things that you have to explain to me. Van Gundy, good NBA coach, was there over 15 years, but you keep Windhorse? Perk is new. You give it to Jalen Rose? After you made him apologize, he did the thing with John Morant. So... You know, things happen. Firings happen. But there's no explanation. So, you know, like I said, with Stephen A. Smith, I don't understand why he's mad at Dan Levitar. Um, but I love I love the back and forth. I love the camaraderie. And I love what Stephen A. Smith also says, but I still love the guy. He's a great, he's great at what he does. Whether it's phony or not, I still think that's good to say. Um but I love it. I love it, man. And I think that's what basketball is missing because you definitely have that in football. Listen, man, head coaches will tell you straight up, I don't like him. So all these guys playing kumbaya like, like they all love EW, I love what Lebertal and Stephen A is doing because it goes to show you that's how they all really feel about each other. I guarantee you they do not be in the same dressing rooms. Guarantee none of them up there. I, I got a I saw it and it's just it goes back to what you said. There's a reason why Stephen A. Smith is the face of ESPN. 
he co-signs that, which I'll get to in a second. He deserves to be the face, though. Let's not forget that. I, who else deserves to be the face at ESPN? Right. And, so, and, man, and, that, and that's my no, no, no. And that's my thing. Who is more deserving to be the front of it? He he basically with the Dan Lebertar thing. I I'm not going to kill the messenger right now. I can't right. do that because I think what he said about Dan Lebertar is totally correct. Every day you got something to say about ESPN again, again. Now, if you never work for them, always were against them, I get it. But you used to work for them. You got money with them. Not only did you get money with them, your pops got money with them. Right, right. That's a fact. Now, it, now it's going like, so I understand, right, what Stephen A. Smith is saying. Like, Dan Lebertos on YouTube got this big presence. Stephen A. Smith on YouTube with this big presence. Skip Bayless even has a big presence, even though that shit is paint drying by himself. Terrible. Oh. Horrible. Even Shannon Rest Sharp peace, because Skip. of them. <laughs> Rest in peace, Skip Bayless. Go ahead, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good riddance. So, I, th I think he's right in that sense. Like, ESPN is such a huge platform. The first take, that thing that Dan Lebertar hated so much, that Stephen A. Smith referred to again when he was on his show. It wasn't like Stephen A. Smith runs from the smoke either. He was on your yeah. show and brought it to you. Yes. And Dan Lebertar had the balls to ask him whatever it was. All right, cool. But you still, he still comes on your show, Dan Lebertar, like you said. He still shows you love. I just don't like, you know, we got to point out the, the, the hypocrisy. I think we're all a little bit hypocritical, but this is majorly hypocritical yes. after a while. Imagine me complaining about all of a sudden one day I'm like, yo, man, I might, I might be fired from All Ball TV, too. <laughs> like, what? Everybody's going to be like, word? Then the next what? day I'm what? coming out talking about we, and this is why I got to kill the messenger with Steve. I got to give it to him now. Exactly. Last week, you were talking about being fired. Cosign, like, you worried about this. Sympathetic figure. This week is back to we again. We. Get the fuck out of here, Stephen A. Smith. Still, we. still lying. Still fibbing. Go ahead. And now we caught you in the lie. It took less than a week because you recorded that shit the other day. Yeah. That's the problem with it. Like, why are you? That's imagine Mickey Mouse being worried about being fired from Disney. That's who you are. You said you're the mascot. ESPN, right? That's a fact. Right? Like, but why? So why? Like, do you have to represent he the, ESPN? He said the that first way? thing he, the first thing he does when he wake up in the morning is worry about getting his boss or some money. That's what he said. So yes, he is Mickey Mouse to ESPN. <laughs> How Mickey Mouse is to Disney, Stephen A is to ESPN. Yes. Whether that's he's a good Mickey or bad Mouse. thing, I don't know. But go ahead. I'm sorry. He, he's Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy. He's all them dudes wrapped up in one. Because it's, <laughs> and he's, but I, but we can't, we can't, like he's so entertaining. Because I'm watching, I'm like, yo, nah, he's ill. Yeah. Because he's able to contradict himself within the same sentence. Uh, oh, it's like, hilarious. Oh, look. Oh. Dog, he, he runs through the numbers. Yo, well, this is the best May that ESPN ever had ever. So if this is the best month you ever did, why are you firing everybody? <laughs> Yo, he said he said something where he was like, people were saying we're losing subscribers. People were saying our numbers going down, and he was like, ESPN by far is got everybody beat. So why y'all fired everybody? What now, are you talking about here? 